Welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm kicking off a beginner series. So uh, anybody who is getting started with their Salesforce journey or you know, you are a beginner and you consider yourself a beginner, we're going to talk about the most fundamental concepts. I've gotten some requests about making a video on fundamental admin concepts. So this video is first in that. Let me know what you think and feel free to share it with your friends who might be benefited from this. And if you're experienced, feel free to also skip this video. Um, Okay, so today's video topic is talking about the object model, which is the foundation of any project. So whether you are starting from a fresh org or you have inherited an org that ha already has custom objects and customization in it, it's very important to understand the different relationship type, the data model of your org, and which, which relationship to pick while uh, establishing the data model because it's kind of the foundation of the house. So this is something that you need to spend a lot of time in figuring out what's the right foundation uh, or what is the right data model for your org is going to be because everything else is going to be built on top of it. Okay, so um, let's start with actually talking about the standard object and their relationship. So uh, in Salesforce, vanilla Salesforce, without any customization, you'll have some objects and I'm not going to cover all of the objects, but the main ones are account, contact, opportunity, case, and I also added op opportunity contact role. So as you can see, um, there is a relation between account and case. So when you are on an account page on a Salesforce org, you will see that contact is a related list, opportunity could be a related list, and case. What that means is it's, it's a one-to-many relationship. So you can associate multiple cases to an account. You can associate multiple opportunities to an account and, and so on. So you can have multiple contacts. What you cannot have is um, a contact with multiple accounts out of the box, right? So, so this arrow, the three arrows actually means one too many. And in Salesforce, the way to look at that is really cool trick is uh, actually schema builder. So when you're on your setup, go to schema builder and just to keep it clean you can select clear all so you can start fresh so i just want to see account and case and maybe contact and let's do auto layout and you need to zoom in a bit sometimes to see all all the different objects so here you'll see you have these blue lines denote lookup relationship and the red lines will be master detail relationship. So if you if I go back here, there is a master detail relationship from account to account which we'll cover later. But for now, let's, uh, let's only focus on the lookup relationship and master detail. So as you can see, we have these blue lines where a contact and account and then we have case and account. So and there will be other various relationship within the object itself. But the main thing is here that contact is also have one to many. So whenever we are saying lookup relationship, it's not the other way. So if I hover over here, it's telling me lookup relationship from case to contact. So the from thing is the child, to is the parent. So anytime you're saying lookup relationship, it means it's the child to parent relationship. We don't say lookup relationship from contact to case. It's from child to parent, that case to contact. Same way from here, lookup relationship from case to account. So we always say the child name first. So if you're a beginner, this is something you will start noticing uh, once you work in the Salesforce model. So, and then that brings me to a different concept where, okay, well, how do we know, or what is the field that's, connecting them together, right? So if I go to object manager, and if I need to find the relationship between account and contact, actually the field itself, I will need to go to the child to find the parent lookup. So in this case, if I want to find the contact lookup, um, contact to account relation, I need to go to the contact object because that will have the parent field. So in this case, we have account name, that's the lookup, lookup data type of to account. So it's pretty straightforward once. So creating the field or creating the lookup relationship is actually very easy. It's just like creating any other any other field. So you'll have new and then you can 
select lookup relationship or master detail relationship which obviously this is a this is a standard object so there are different other limitations but if it was a custom object you'd have a master detail option here as well um, so the reason we don't see master detail here is because it's a standard object and the standard object cannot be a detail of other object that's one of the also things that come up with the standard object is that standard object can be a child but it cannot be a master detail child we'll get into that in a, in a second but um, so this is how you create a field so you just go to the child object and then once you select lookup relationship you'll say you know all these objects that are in the sales force you can select and then now that becomes a child of that object okay so remember um, whether you're creating master detail or lookup you will always start from the child object meaning child object means the many side so one to many the many side is the child object okay so now that we have established that well what is the difference between lookup and master detail because they both are parent child and that was one of the most confusing thing when i started working in salesforce is okay well both are one to many what's the difference between master detail and lookup relationship and not only that what when would you pick one over the other okay so the objects that come out of the box from salesforce that you cannot change you cannot change the relationship like i cannot make account to contact as master detail because that's just how salesforce comes with and i cannot change that so let's take another example where i am trying to create an employee record and expense record so that's my use case so the business comes to you they're like okay we want to store employee information in salesforce and we also want to store expenses for those employees in salesforce okay uh, now as an admin you will our business analyst or whoever is actually on the project like you will have multiple conversation with the business just because they mentioned two object doesn't mean you just go ahead and create and relate them right you would have to ask questions to the business on okay well you want to store employee information you want to store uh, expense information you know that and you know that one employee has multiple expenses uh, how do you relate them now as an admin and reading this trailhead i'll also send the uh, link to this trailhead uh, read this up and you'll understand what is each relationship but what i want to explain is how to choose whether you want to pick master detail or lookup so let's come to this diagram here uh, and i was thinking about how to better explain that and i started putting this logic together that might be helpful for you so okay um, they're saying they want employee record and expenses record um, now your first question should be okay well can there be an expense without the employee can is expense always going to have an employee okay now the answer could be yes or no so if it is no no meaning okay an expense cannot be created without an employee okay so the, if the answer is no yeah that's possibly could be a master detail but you'll still want to ask more questions but if the answer is yes yes there can be uh, an expense without an employee meaning somebody can just go and what I mean by that is let me go to the view here so what I mean by that is can somebody just go and create just by clicking you know clicking an account or whatever just hit new and create an expense by itself no relation to employee whatsoever you're just creating an expense okay so if the answer is yes then you know you ask more questions okay is this going to be a standalone object meaning would you care about the expenses by itself and no employees associated with it um, or you know it's not always required but sometimes you need an employee then if the, if their chances are they don't always need to associate with employee but sometimes yes or no then yes if that the answer is yes then you can even skip this other part and you can decide that it's directly a lookup relationship because lookup relationship are more casual like you don't i can create a contact without an account unless you have a validation rule on your org i can just go to a contact and create an account uh, if i go here 
I clicked on, on the wrong button. I clicked on the import. Let me go back. And I just want to create a new contact, right? Because we saw that account and contact have lookup relationship. I can just go in, past Fatima, and you know what? Account name is there, but this is the lookup. This is how you'll relate the relationship. But I'll say, okay, no, I don't want to associate with any. Now, that's probably not a good practice, but you can create an account without having a contact. Um, Sorry, you can create a contact without having an account. So, okay, that, that can be a lookup relationship because master detail are very tight. Master detail are way tighter than that. So, again, if the answer is yes, uh, no here, uh, if they're saying, okay, I do not really want an employee record, uh, I do not really want an expense record without an employee, you still need to ask more questions because you can always add a validation rule or make the employee feel required okay Th just because it's that uh, the answer is no doesn't mean you can directly say it's master detail then you need to ask does the sharing depend so let's say if somebody has access to uh, employee do you automatically want to give them access to all the expenses meaning are they shared so the one of the unique features about master detail is that they don't have an owner field and they are not shared separately. And sharing is a concept we'll cover in later videos, but for now, just understand that uh, you cannot control the visibility of the child records based on a sharing rule or some other scenario. It, it follows the parent. So if anybody has access to the employee record, they will get access to expense records, unless uh, you hide it from the profile level. But that's, that's the main differentiating feature between master and lookup. One thing is master detail, the detail always needs to have a parent. Another one is the, in the master detail, uh, the detail object, meaning the child object, follows the sharing of the parent. It does not have its own sharing, so it does not have its own own honor as well. So if I create an employee, I create an expense, I become the auto automated the owner of both. And let's look at how we create that and what are the differences. So I, I want to also give you some uh, I also want to show you in the system so you understand. Um, it's, it's easier when you actually see it. So I think I already created an employee object. So you know you got a requirement, fine. We need an employee object, great. And then, okay, I also have an expense object, perfect. So maybe my answer came out to be, you know what, I don't want the users creating Employ expense on their own and I also am fine whoever has access to the employer has access to expense so two check boxes met uh, from this diagram we know that it needs to be a master detail now so we're gonna just go ahead and create a master detail so always I always highly encourage to actually draw it out so it's always helpful so I'm going to say employee and expense especially when you're starting out it's a lot easier when you actually visualize it right so you say employee and expense and this is one too many for simplicity I'm just gonna leave it that arrow but we know that this is the child because it's on the opposite side of the arrow this is a child this is the parent okay so now we know this is the child that's why we need to create the master detail field on the child so we are going to the expense object gonna hit fields and relationship hit new and then we'll create a master detail and you can also read here there's some really good information right when you're starting to create master detail Hit next and then I want to relate it to the expense object uh, I'm sorry employee object so I'm going to say employee hit next and I can either leave it employee label or I can change it something else it's it's always good to not change it a lot because it causes a lot of confusion later hit next and see um, by default it just automatically becomes visible to everybody because it doesn't matter uh, since expense is a child of employee in a master detail relationship okay uh, I'm gonna hit save
So we created a master detail relationship, great. Now let's go back to the employee just to add, for the sake of this example, I'm gonna leave it empty with no fields. But we can go to the employees tab, it's going to create a new employee and I don't have any fields on it. So, and it's an auto number. So employee was created. Now I can go to expense. Now here, watch. So watch, this is already required. I cannot remove this, you know, trans, transport or whatever, transport fare. Um, I cannot have, I cannot create an expense without an employee. So I need to associate with an employee, save. So, and if I go to the transport, does it have an owner field? It doesn't, it does not have an owner field. Let's uh, look at all the fields here. It does not have an owner field because it's a master detail. So whoever own, uh, whoever has access to the employee will, will have access to the expense. That's like the main difference. So as you can see, employee uh, master detail are way a lot stricter than the lookup relationship. Uh, another thing is you can also create roll-up summary fields if it is a master detail. So now, now that I have uh, employee and expense, expense is the master detail to employee, I can go to employee and create a roll-up summary fields. And I'll link you to the description for the sake of keeping the video a little bit shorter, but feel free to look at uh, what roll-up summary fields are. Um, and that's really, that's really main difference or main consideration that you need to consider before making a master detail and lookup. Just think about it. Master detail needs, it's very strict and tighter. Uh, lookup is more casual and more flexible in terms of what you can do. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any other requests in the beginner series. Um, thank you so much for watching.